Uh, I'm pleased to confirm that Peter Moore, one of the five men taken hostage in Baghdad in May 2007, uh, has been released today. Uh, Peter was set free by his captors this morning uh, in Baghdad and delivered to the Iraqi authorities. Uh, he's now in the care of the British Embassy in Baghdad. Uh, I've spoken to our acting ambassador uh, this morning to go through arrangements, and I've just had a very moving uh, conversation with Peter uh, himself. Uh, Peter is in good health, despite many months of uh, captivity. Uh, he's undergoing careful uh, medical checks, and he's going to be reunited with his family uh, as soon as possible back in the UK. Uh, he's obviously, uh, to put it mildly, absolutely delighted uh, at his release. I think it's also important that I say that I'm very conscious uh, today that the joy and relief that will be felt by Peter's family will be mirrored by the continuing anguish of the family of Alan McMenemy, the last of the five men uh, taken hostage. We have believed uh, for some time that he has been killed, and his family have been told our view of his likely uh, fate. I call today, again, in the strongest terms, for the hostage takers to uh, return Alan's body as soon as possible. My thoughts today are also uh, with the families of Jason Swindlehurst, Jason Cresswell, and Alec McLachlan, who did not survive this hostage taking and whose bodies were repatriated to the UK earlier this year. For Peter's family, the pain and the anguish is over. For the other families, it endures.